Today I want to do a quick video and talk about iPhone, more specifically the iPhone 4S. You might heard some news last month. In January 2018, Apple signed a bunch of older version of iOS, and you can officially downgrade your iPhone to an older version if you want to. That was super rare since Apple don't really do downgrades. Unfortunately, the party only lasted about a couple hours, and I didn't have any chance to downgrade any of my iPhones. And the other day I was browsing IPSW downloads. I was shocked and amazed that iPhone 4S is still downgradable. In this particular case, you can downgrade your iPhone 4S to iOS 6.1.3. I was a little confused. I looked at iPhone 5 and iPhone 6 and stuff like that. And indeed, all the older iOS for those phones are shut. But the iPhone 4S iOS 6 is still really available. So I thought I'd give it a try and see if it really works. The procedure is extremely simple. You simply open up IPSW.me, go ahead and click on iPhone and then iPhone 4S, and then you can see there are two firmwares that are officially signed by Apple. One is the iOS 9 and one is the iOS 6. I was sick and tired of how iOS 9 runs on iPhone 4, so I proceed to restore on iOS 6. After the download is complete, you can click on your iTunes on your computer, Connect the iPhone 4S and then navigate to this button where you can restore your phone. Hold down the Option key while clicking the button if you're using a Mac computer, or hold down the Shift key while clicking this button if you're using a PC. Select your iOS 6 file that you just downloaded and you're good to go. And after a couple minutes, I was welcomed by this Metro theme again. I was extremely happy how fast my iPhone 4S runs now. And I can still download some older apps on this phone. Although these apps are definitely lacking of new features, and there's some major apps that are not supported anymore, like WhatsApp or Line. But at least the downgrade brought back the iPhone 4S to its original speed. And I'm not pulling my hairs out anymore. What's more interesting is when I go to About and check the phone upgrade. iOS 8 is actually available to upgrade. I was surprised the system is not detecting iOS 9. So I guess if you absolutely have to use the iPhone 4S today, and you don't want to run the iOS 9, you can at least run on iOS 8. It is still slower than iOS 6, but you can at least download all the apps and run the phone at a reasonable speed. I also want to mention that iOS 6.1.3 is also available to downgrade officially on iPad 2. So if you do have a second gen iPad you want to downgrade, you can also do that. I don't know how long this version of iOS 6 will be signed by Apple, but as of today, February 21st, the firmware is still available to restore on iTunes, without any jailbreaking software like Phoenix or something like that required. If you don't want to jailbreak your device and just keep it bone stock, factory style as it is, go ahead and do your downgrade on iPhone 4S or iPad 2 the easy way while it's still available. Like and subscribe to the channel, and as usual, I will see you next time.